Hi, welcome. This video is a little bit different. Um, I've had a few questions about the mobile app and somebody was asking about the noise gate effects within that. So I thought I'd do a quick video in showing people how to actually access the effects if you're using the mobile app. So let's head over into the uh, mobile app. So here we've got the main mobile app um, screen. So to start a session, let's go and start something new. And I'm going to apply this to the voice and mic for our example. So let's go into that. So I'm clicking on the big red button in the middle, voice mic. And that brings this up. So let's zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. So now we can see the screen a little bit better. Now on this, we've got down the bottom, you've got auto pitch center at the bottom of the screen, but then you've got the FX button. So let's click on that one. And now you've got a whole heap of options. So if I scroll across, you've got all these settings of effects that you can use. But if you just want to have the noise gate effects, which is what I've had a question about, if I click on that plus button to add in what I want there, this now gives us some options. So you can explore, but I want to select one of them. So I'm going to click the plus button at the top. And this brings up a whole heap of the effects that you get within the main um, BandLabs program, but on the mobile device. So under here, I've got recommended that I've got ones here. So I've got distortion, equalizer, filters, and those things going there. If I click across one, I get the different amps that you can use. I go across to delays, different sorts of distortions. If I scroll across, I get to dynamics. So I've got all my compressors and things in there. Modulations where I can change the sound. The reverbs. The tones and EQ. And the utility. Now the one I'm after for now is the noise gate that somebody was asking about. So down here, second one from the bottom. If I scroll down, there we go, second one from the bottom. I click on that one and now I've got the noise gate. So you can adjust the settings as you see fit. I can turn them up or down. I've got the release there I can play with. I've got the threshold to play with. Okay, you can turn it on and off as you need. And it's as simple as that. If I want to add another effect in the chain, I might add a distortion, I might add a delay. I can go and select it and I've now got those two particular effects there happening there. If I wanted to delete one, Okay, I hit the remove, and I can delete the ones that I've got selected. And if I go back, you can see I've got my custom sounds that I can go in there. So what I'm clicking on is those um, just in the corner of that custom thing. There is actually that white circle button with those move along faders. If I click on that, I'm getting to those class customs again. Okay, so hopefully... Um, you've been able to have an idea of how to get to some of the effects. You can apply it on the other channel types, whether it's the guitar, um, the bass, and the MIDI instruments. Um, so if you have any other questions about the Bandland programs or apps, please let me know, and I'm happy to try and help you out. Thanks.